Hi, this is Graham Bell with Real Intent. I have the pleasure of speaking with Ramesh Dewangan, Vice President of Application Engineering at Real Intent. Hi, Ramesh. Hi, Graham. How are you doing today? I'm very good. It's at the end of September. We've got a new release of our Meridian uh, Clock Domain Crossing product, Meridian CDC, coming out. What are the drivers for a new uh, release of our Meridian product? Let me start by saying, Graham, that the new version of Meridian CDC, we call 2014.A version, truly represents the next generation of CDC technology that market has been waiting for. Back in April, in my blog titled Redefining Chip Complexity, I mentioned that AMD's new SOC has eight CPU cores and one integrated graphics, which almost comes to about 5 billion transistors in 28 nanometer process. To top it, NVIDIA's GK110 GPU has 7 billion transistors in 28 nanometers. These are large chips. Should we call it giant chips? How do you do CDC verification of such large chips? This is one of the main drivers of our new version of Meridian CDC. There are three aspects that really make it happen. First is accuracy, second is throughput, and third is ease of use. So what can we say about accuracy of CDC analysis? The new version of Meridian CDC introduces a concept of CDC interfaces, which really ensures a very accurate and low noise CDC analysis. In addition to the CDC interfaces approach, there are also improvements in terms of bus handling, reset analysis, and the glitch analysis for both synchronous and asynchronous crossings. The formal engine has been significantly improved for higher coverage than previous releases. What about throughput? Seems like that would be an important issue if you're going to be handling giant uh, SOCs. Throughput, again, has three aspects. There's a performance, capacity, and methodology. The performance-wise, our existing version of Meridian CDC is already a market leader. But the new version improves the performance by another 30%. In terms of capacity, we have improved the memory footprint of the new version by 40% compared to previous version. What this means is those giant chips can be handled for CDC verification in a matter of overnight runs in a very reasonably sized machines. Last but not the least, methodology is very important. The new version of Meridian CDC supports both the flat as well as hierarchical methodology. The hierarchical methodology ensures that you have no bugs missed when you handle such a large chip while leveraging your block level CDC analysis. And what about ease of use? It seems to me if you're doing uh, analysis of very large designs, uh, a lot of data is going to have to be handled. The designers are swimming in the data that is generated by CDC verification tools. It is extremely important to have a very good setup and very good debug. In terms of setup, Meridian CDC new version has some additional user configurability and new setup commands and uh, technology that has been introduced. In terms of debug, 2014.a version of Meridian CDC introduces a completely next generation debug environment and capability. This environment is, has an integrated uh, GUI and has user configurability and user programmability using command line interfaces. So all the CDC analysis data is stored in a database that can be accessed through CLI. So users are not stuck with one methodology that tool provides to debug. Instead, they can create their own debug methodologies custom to their own design flows, which may include spreadsheet reports, may include some graphical reports, or the, their own scripting, and so on. This truly provides a new way of debugging CDC violations. And this is the first in the market. And what do we call the new debugger? We call it iDebug, where I stands for intent. 
So this is really intent debug environment. Ramesh, we've talked about a lot of new technologies and capabilities in the new release. What's the one that really stands out for you? The Meridian CDC's hierarchical methodology is truly unique in the sense that it can handle flat designs as well as hierarchical in a very, very easy to use and most comprehensive way. You can leverage the block level CDC analysis that you have done and you can bring it to the chip level, but no crossings or any bugs related to crossings are missed with the approach that is in Meridian CDC. That is because the complete design view of the SOC is available for CDC analysis at any time. There is no abstraction or no approximation that, that is used that has a potential to miss the bugs. So I think the hierarchical CDC methodology is one of the key differentiators of this release. Ramesh, thanks for bringing us up to date on the new release of Meridian CDC. Thanks for the opportunity, Graham. I appreciate it.